Hi guys, Rick from NVK here. Just got back from three days shooting in Malaga over in Spain with my giant glory. I thought I'd just give you a little rundown of all the various uh, trials and tribulations it's had. It's had a few crashes, largely my fault. So, just a bit of a rundown of what I've got going on at the minute, what spec I'm running, and uh, what the damage was. Chris Porter from Mojo Suspension actually shortened my rear shock by 5mm. And what that's done is actually cant the whole front triangle back, which when you take sag into account should give me a slightly slacker by about 3 degree head angle. Which uh, to be honest you really do notice, in, uh, especially the steeper sort of switchbacky stuff, the bike really feels it's a little bit more planted. Um, also on there at the minute I swapped to some Bergtech Penthouse Mark III pedals. Uh, normally run flips, normally run crank bullers mallets, but just made the change just to as much for me as anything else, but Dottie told me it was very, very loose over there and very sort of, uh, you know, you'd be dabbing your feet a lot, so I went for it and paid off. It worked really, really well. Saying that, they are a bit chewed up now, thanks to the rocks. Also, I've managed to pull the chain ring off it. I um, had a big-ish crash, lost two chain ring bolts. Uh, I had none with me because I need a very low-profile one for the glory, so I just torqued the remaining two up and uh, halfway into the last day, it sort of snapped it off, so... I need to replace that as well. Also, um, put on some new Maxxis high roller super tacky tyres. The front one's actually come up alright, but the back one looks like it's been uh, chewed up by some sort of rabid, mangy Spanish dog, really. So, probably have to replace that at some stage as well. Apart from that, I've got the new 2011 Fox 40s on there. They're Kashima coated. Um, really, really impressed with them. They're just that little bit more supple than the old ones were. But obviously they've got to do the rounds of everybody else in the test team and you should be able to hear a review of them coming up in the next couple of issues or so. Don't forget you can keep up to date with all our long term fleet on bikeradar.com. Also on our blog and of course in the mag every month.